Hello friends, welcome back. Today, we're going to extract local state into Redux. You're almost done. Recall that you wrote all the Redux code so that Redux could control the state management of your React Messages app. We wrote the Redu React Redux could control the state management. Now Redux is connected. You need to extract the state management out of your presentational. So we have Redux connected, but presentational component still has um, presentational state within it. Currently you have Redux connected, but you are handling the state within the presentational component. If we look down here, we see our presentational component, which is this guy, has, we're handling the state here rather than up here with our Redux um, situation. Uh, see here we have our return, our accident.messages, so we're able to add our messages in using this um, Redux situation. But um, right now, our presentational component still has a state being managed within it. And so we want to change that so that the presentational component uses Redux to uh, manage its uh, state. Um, okay, so in the presentational component first, I'm going to just spread this out now so we can see this, this guy better. So here's our presentational component. In the presentational component, First, remove the messages property in the local state. Remove the messages property in the local state. So this is the local state of the presentational component, and we want to remove the messages in the local state. These, these messages will be managed by Redux. So we're removing it here because if we manage it here, it won't be able to be passed to Redux because of the order of operations. Next, we want to modify the submit message method so that it dispatches submit new message. Um, submit message. So here's our submit message method. Modify the submit message method so that it dispatches submit new message from this dot props. Okay, so and so we're gonna say uh, this dot props dot submit new message. So from this dot props, we're doing this dot props. We're passing into the presentational component the props, and from the props we're getting submit new message, which um, uh, submit new message. So that's not submit message, it's submit new message. Submit new message. So that's from the props being passed in from here. Message Map dispatch to props. Here we're passing map dispatch into props, so that's part of the container component. And then the container component is going to have those things passed in. So we're passing in, so now what we're doing is saying this.props, so the props that are being passed into presentational, we're saying submit new message. So that's how we have access to the submit new message uh, prop. This is the submit new message prop, where is it? Uh, it's part of the map dispatch to prop, right? Add message, where was it? Submit new message. Here we go, submit new message. So map dispatch to props, and we're passing in the dispatch. There's, we've got the submit new message, uh, which is the function here. And we're calling that, when we, when, we, when we call submit new message, we get this function. And then this dispatch, dispatches an add new message thing. And so yeah, let's come back up to what we're working on here. So this dot props dot submit new message. So that's how we get access to this function. Um, and we want to oh next modify submit new message into dispatch from this dot props and pass in the current message input from the local state. Um, so uh, let's see. I think this is going to be. Pass in the current message input from the local state. So this dot state dot input. It's it's a similar to this guy. <clears throat> Actually, we're probably going to remove this. Pass the state from and pass in the message current message input from local state as an argument. <clears throat> so as an argument, that hints to us that it's just within here as an argument. Okay, so now I'm just going to scroll up here. Because you removed messages from the local state, remove message property from the call to this dot set state. So here we've got this dot set state, and we want to remove this messages now. 
um, this dot set state because this is the this dot set state and we're removing messages from there so finally modify the render method so down here we've got our render method and that returns our JSX component of a single element of JSX and we want to say finally modify the render method so that it maps over the messages received from props rather than state so where it maps over that tells you here because we're mapping over we're returning a list of things instead of saying this dot state we want to say this dot props uh, cool and so it seems to be working once these changes are made the app will continue to function the same except redux manages the state this example also illustrates how a component may have a local state. Your component still tracks user input locally in its own state. You can see how Redux provides a useful state management framework on top of React. You achieve the same result using only React's local state at first. And this is usually possible with some simple apps. However, as your apps become larger and more complex, so does your state management. And this is the problem that Redux solves. Cool, I wonder if it passes. Why? Okay, awesome, we passed the test. So yeah, the key is here to just read the instructions really, really closely. Um, this has become exceptionally difficult. I would recommend people not to get hung up too much here. I think just having an overview uh, in this course of learning how this system works and just having seen it before, kind, kind of understanding how this dot uh, props has passed forward and then how that relates to the way that you pass in your render function because our container is equal to our presentational component with state and um, dispatch connected as props. And so our container uh, passes us, or you know, our container is a wrapper with React and Redux connected to it, which passes in our presentational, which has the capacity to render these things and pass it in as a React Redux component. So just kind of having the idea of how it works as a general concept, I think, is the purposes of this, rather than um, being able to re write these from scratch at this point. Um, so yeah, passes the test. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.